Hello ladies and gentlemen, Brock the Collector here coming back to you with another video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the clone Umbra operative arc trooper from the Star Wars The Black Series line. This is the Gaming Greats figure number 9 and it reads the Umbra operative arc trooper is part of the infiltrator reinforcement unit for the Galactic Republic in the action-packed multiplayer game across all three eras, Star Wars Battlefront. Two, which honestly starting off was not the greatest game you know everybody knows how ea is especially with you know play to win and everything like that i personally liked the first battlefront game that they did even though it did it was only set in the uh original trilogy era which is fine but it also you know it got very repetitive you know it had some fun game modes like heroes vs villains was pretty fun but all in all, Battlefront 2 2017 improved on everything that that game had after a while. It came, it, it was a few years before, or maybe a couple years until Battlefront 2 2017 came into its full stride, you know, with uh, everything, making all the heroes free, adding plenty of great downloadable content that was for free. And, you know, with that, uh, the Umbra Octave, the Umbra Operative Arc Trooper and just the Arc Trooper class of reinforcements in that game in general came in when the game was basically at its glory days. You know, it was sort of revived. People were playing it. It was fun to hop on with your friends. You'd run into some, play some heroes versus villains, or you could play, you know, uh, what was it called? It was called something. It was, the nickname was CS. What was it called? Why do I not remember? Oh, oh Capital Supremacy, right. <laughs> Uh, those were the memories, especially during quarantine. Then they stopped sending updates to that game, very unfortunately. But I'm glad that the Gaming Greats line has come in so that we can get figures like these. This isn't actually the first Battlefront 2 figure that they've done. They've done about a few at this point, not only in the Gaming Greats line itself in this blue packaging, but also in a... Um, they did a Inferno Squad agent with the release of the game back in 2017 and you know they've just done plenty of other great content for this game or great figures for this game since then but here is just a repaint arc trooper a lot of people have been asking for this hold on my ankle joint is out of position on this guy pop that back into place his ankle's weird give me a second okay pop that back in hold on guys Apologize. All right, there we go. So here's Umbra Operative looking, looking mad slick as always. As you can see, the Umbra Operative has his nice black paint on him. It's basically a black mold for a clone trooper with yellow paint, or this is more of an orange, isn't it? Very reminiscent of Purge Troopers actually except Purge Troopers have red and white accents to their fit. And honestly, this guy, you, you guys know what you're getting into. Honestly, these repaints, they, they do a lot of Clone Trooper repaints nowadays, which a lot of people like. Uh, myself being one of them, love expanding the Clone Wars side. But, you know, I also do love when we get very unorthodox repaints such as this. They actually did, um for the Vintage Collection line, 3.75, they did a whole whole exclusive sort of release for these guys, including the Umbra Operative, Lambent Sinker, and just the plain Arc Trooper that they have in the game. So yeah, so let's take a look at this guy. So there we go. Look at the detailing on him, very vibrant detailing. It does stand out. Good thing about this guy is that, especially as we get closer, you can see with the paint is that, since it's sort of like a, there are parts of the paint that's supposed to be sort of dirty and unfinished. You know, a lot of these clone troopers paint, the, paint their armor themselves. An example, which we're going to see in a minute. So, of course, it doesn't look super sharp. But the good thing about that is that it also can cover up some more sloppy paint. You can, tell, you can still tell when the paint is not supposed to be like how it is. Um, especially, you know, in some details. But with the sloppy paint like this, where the paint is meant to look chipped... It really does help with, uh, with uh, you know, some paint issues and just quality control and stuff like that. So that's what I always appreciate, especially on a black body like this, where the paint is basically, you know, spray painted on by these clone troopers themselves. It really looks, it hides up some, 
inaccuracies in the paint job. So I like that a lot. And the Lambert Secret itself, it just, it looks really cool, man. It looks good. Get up like that. It looks good. I like it a lot. Although it is the same body mold as our Echo from last year. So, meaning that, uh, although this is an updated clone trooper body mold, this is uh, the base body at least is sort of the updated clone trooper body mold. So it has that great range right there. The legs, of course, don't move very far because of the comma. But it does do everything that it basically needs to accomplish for an ARC trooper. And of course, it does look really nice. Take a look at that paint right there. Yeah, that looks good. Only comes with these two blasters, which is unfortunate. Of course, if you've been collecting for a little while, you do have an array of clone trooper blasters that you can switch out for this guy. But I'm running low because, I mean, honestly, I've been noticing over time they're starting to include less and less of the blasters. As the prices are going up, they're including less and less. For example, the uh, the Walgreens exclusive Clone Trooper, which I just reviewed, I think it was a couple weeks ago. He only came with his DC-17 carbine. DC-15 carbine, whichever one that is. Which is unfortunate, man. You know, they're starting to come with less accessories, but these prices are going up. That's corny. So they bet. I hope that... Uh, with future, I know that they're going to do more of these ARC Troopers and more just clone troopers in this line in general. I hope that they actually do start including all of the clone trooper accessories, even if they don't wield them in the game. You know, just like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? But yeah, there he is. Umbra Operative. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at some comparisons. Got his backpack right there. There's some gunmetal gray on the backpack as well. Looks really good. So let's do some comparisons, all right? Let me get this guy in this sort of a pose. His ankle is still sort of wonky on mine, so I apologize about that. Getting him to stand up sort of naturally is kind of a bit of a challenge for that right there. But let's have him standing up straight and center right there for you. All right, so fortunately for you guys, I accidentally just knocked down my clone display right before I started recording this. I put it back up, of course, but, you know, I was able to at least get some of these figures down from up there as they fell down on top of me, so... Here are the three that I picked up for you guys to sort of look at. This is Clone Commander Bly and Arc Trooper Echo. So here's how you sort of have a... Bly is a Clone Marshal Commander, basically the highest rank a Clone Trooper can be in the Grand Army of the Republic. And these two are Arc Troopers, sort of the Navy SEALs of the Grand Army. So it's kind of, it's, it's sort of nice to see how they stand next to each other. And of course, the clone bodies, um, we have plenty of great different clone bodies in the Black Series line. But the one thing about them is that they've never been sort of, they're, they've never been sort of uniform since as these figures, as Hasbro starts to update, you know, the technology that they use and the articulation. We've gone through about three different base clone bodies at this point. You have the Bly mold, and then you have the first clone trooper body mold that came with Cody and the phase one clone trooper that they were using up until about 2017 with uh, Rex with that same base body mold that this Bly is using. And then in 2020, they came out with the Camino clone trooper body mold, which is my personal opinion, the best one. It's sort of a more animated design-ish, but it does allow for a lot better articulation. And it seems to me like they're moving in that direction to just stick with, um, seeing as, you know, all of most of the clone troopers we've gotten announced so far have been on that base body mold, either this ARC Trooper body mold or the Camino clone trooper body mold, which is good because I just want a uniform clone collection, you know, unlike stormtroopers where you can sort of have them be all different shapes, sizes, and proportions since, you know, stormtroopers are different people recruited. The clones are all the same DNA, literally, they're the same person. So it's nice to start to have a more uniform collection like this. I wish I had the the um the arc trooper from the Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars to compare with y'all because those are our three arc troopers that we have in the Black Series line to stand right here. But for now, this is what I got for you. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get this guy into a quick pose and then we're gonna toss him up onto the shelf. So what I wanna do is I wanna do a pose that sort of conveys some sass because arc troopers do have a little bit more of a um a little bit more of an attitude to them. They're a bit more individualistic clones, not as individualistic as, you know, maybe clone commandos or stuff like that, but they are more of the innovative troopers in the Grand Army of the Republic. I'm trying to get him into a sort of pose that conveys 
It's sort of like a pose that Captain Rex did in some of the Clone Wars concept art where he's, okay, maybe it just won't allow me to do that. Okay, yeah, because of the comma, I can't bring this body back. So we're gonna have to pivot here and go for a different pose. And I think for that, I'm gonna wanna have his comma down and I'm gonna try to bring these legs up here but guys, in the meantime, t tell me down in the comment sections, you know, what are your, what do you guys think about this guy? If you have him, he's a GameStop exclusive, but he's sold out everywhere. Well, I say everywhere. There's only one place where you can really get him, but he's sold out on GameStop. He came back in stock, but of course, clone troopers, they're always quite popular. I got this guy a month ago at now. Sort of just kept him in box. Okay, now if his ankle that that mine came with would allow him to stand up. Let's take a look. Okay, well, instead of bringing that gun down, I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna have it like it's, uh, like he's just pulled. All right, there we go. And I wanna have his sort of head more centered with that. Bring his visor down, his range finder, if you will. And there we go. sort of bring that gun over here issue i'm finding is that you know he's a he's a bulky guy with all this armor he's got on so this with all this armor it's sort of difficult to pose him in a way that you'd that's super duper dynamic but for now that's the best we can do he sort of looks like a firefighter to me a little bit for some reason with the vibrant color patterns that he's got going on but all right so best part let's toss him up onto the shelf and for a little while, I'm going to I'm gonna leave you guys for a second while you guys comment down what your thoughts are on this figure. Hopefully I don't knock over my whole display doing this. Boop, and then, all right. Okay. And of course, I'll turn on these LEDs so that we can get a closer look at him. All right, we're gonna go with our clone marshal commander and put him up here. Okay, this might not be the exact place where I put him, where I stick our Umbra operative, but there he is. One thing I am excited to try is the Umbra operative with these different LEDs. So let's turn that off. Let's see how that orange interacts with these LEDs up here. So, okay, we're gonna try red. Okay, looks about the same. Usually blue shows something different. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how good that's gonna show up on cam, but the orange is, Oh uh, yeah, it's not showing up on camera super well. It's not picking it up, but the orange does look very different in this blue lighting. There he's in red, that that definitely pops. Yeah, man, I like it, I like it a lot. Looks good. Nice little Arc Trooper variant. So yes, guys, a little quickie one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be sure to get another video out for you soon. Got plenty of of figures over here that we can go through. I think I'll try to, I'm gonna try to do this next Black Series wave all in one video. I have Omega somewhere over there. But I think next up we're gonna do the Night Brother Archer. So definitely stay tuned and I'll see you all next time. I think I'm gonna give this, oh right, the rating. I think I'm gonna give this Lambent Seeker, Lambent Seeker, <laughs> excuse me, Umbra Operative Arc Trooper a, I'll give it a, a seven out of 10. Pretty nice looking figure. Great looking. Definitely accents well with these guys. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be sure to catch you all later. Stay safe out there, and always remember to be the best. See ya.